Hey, what's going on, my beautiful family? Hi, my beautiful family members. How are you? I love you so much. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't, please drop down, subscribe. Give me a hit the like button for you, sister, up here, down there to the side, wherever I am on your particular whatever you got going on. That'd be great. If you don't want to, that's cool. Your sister loves you anyway. You know, I love you, love you, love you. And I'm wishing you nothing but love and light on your beautiful journey. And I think, ooh. Look at this, y'all. Now, this is real time. This is real time. And I'm going to give you, wow. Wow. All I can say is wow. Because I was going to do a video kind of similar to this. And uh, it, I, I have to, see this? This is flower. Now, I didn't know this was in my nappy ass head. <laughs> I didn't know losing these dread y'all. But listen, I was like, what the hell is that? But I think this signifies a lot because I think I know where it came from. Because I was outside in front of my house and I was and I have flowers, like fake flowers, in front of my house, and I couldn't get in the house good. And um I put down, you know, how you got your handful of bags, right? And I had a handful of bags and I leaned and I couldn't get the door open, so I leaned down to put my bags down, and I guess a piece of flour. Popped up in my hair, and I'm gonna leave it right there because you are the flowers of life. You are the givers of life, and this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna bloom from out of all this stuff right here. All this stuff look crazy. <laughs> you're gonna bloom like a flower. Hmm, symbolic. Symbolic means a lot. Cause this video right here, I was gonna tell you all. Let me put this down real quick. I was gonna tell you all that when you're going through a lot of pain with a narcissist. And it's the worst pain of your life. How does a narcissist perceive your pain? Do they feel any kind of pain? What do they feel like when you're going through this? Do they care at all? Now, of course, we know the answer to that most of the time. But this is what I think, fam. It's just like this flower. It's a bloom. You know what I'm saying? Everything blooms. Everything has a season to do things, right? It's kind of crazy, right? But anyway... It's your season to go through what you're going through. Yes, it's fucked up. Yeah, it's messed up. Yeah, it ain't no good. Yeah, it's not good for your spirit, your soul, your mental, you know, mental state. It ain't good for shit. You're going through the worst pain in your life. And you're trying to figure out, I'm going through all this pain and all this bullshit. Is the narcissist feeling anything? Do they have any kind of remorse? Do they? Well, we already know the answer. We know they don't have remorse like we have remorse. We know that they don't feel what we feel. But I'm going to tell you something I learned. Let's see your sister. They're not supposed to. Yeah, I know that sounds crazy. Because they do so much stuff. And we'd be like, they are supposed to feel this way. They're supposed to get their karma. Look what they have done. I've said this before and I'm going to retap onto this again. They're not supposed to feel a certain way when you are feeling a certain way. Unfortunately, that's how life usually works. Like I always told you in the past, you know, we talk about it, fam. When you have a crush on a person, they don't want you. As soon as you don't want you, here they come. Right? You get it, right? You, you, and you. You can't say you ain't been through it because I think we all been through it. And it's the same thing with a narcissist. When you're going through the worst pain in your life and you're trying to figure out, does a narcissist feel any kind of pain? Do they feel any kind of way? What is their response? Well, we know they're crazy. They don't give a shit about nothing but themselves. But at the end of the day, I know one thing about human pathology and people. Even if they are low down and narcissistic. It's not about who they are, right? And what they've done. It's about the way the shit rolls and the way that the universe, God, the divine or whatever, the way that it works. Because I'm going to tell you something. When you're in the worst position of your life with a narcissist and the pain you're feeling and you want to know how they feel and how are they sleeping at night after what they've done to you, listen to me. How can you sleep at night knowing you left me and your children? How can you sleep at night when I've been the best person for you? Go back to my other video I just made about they leave you for whatever. Just go to that. And you're trying to figure out how is it that the narcissist is sleeping well? Well, we know that's not true. They don't sleep well at night for what they did to you. They just know how to hide the shit better. And more than likely, they're on a high. Let me tell you something about that. When a narcissist is on a new supply high, Yes, a new supply high. They don't feel.
feeling they think. Because they think the decision that they made was for their betterment. They don't care about how you're feeling. Let's just keep it 100. They don't care if you're crying. They don't care if you're hurt. They don't care if you fall out on the ground and you don't have no place to stay and you and your children are on the brink of disaster. They don't care at the time because they're on a new supply high. But just like any high, what happens? After a minute, it does what? It comes down. It comes down. And the thing I want you all to understand as my family members, and I've been there, done it, and you, I'm sure you can relate to it. When we get done this way, we're on a bottom low. We don't have no other place to go but to go high. You understand what I'm saying? When you're done this way by a narcissist, you don't have any other thing to do. I know I'm speaking just for myself, but drop down in the comments and let me know how you feel about it. I know for myself, I was so low after what happened. I didn't have any other place to go. But high. Right? See, a narcissist, they get on a new supply kick high up and all this other stuff. They don't have no other place to go but down. Ain't that what they always tell us? Right, fam? You can go so high, but everything that goes so high eventually goes so low, right? But for us that been through this abuse and we don't understand it like, why am I going through all this pain? The narcissist ain't feeling shit. I'm at the lowest point because you got to go to your lowest point to build yourself up to a place that's higher than, like I said, my other video that they can't even understand. The narcissist won't even be able to understand. They've been looking at you in a different position, but they played like they're so high up and that new supply high that when the reality starts to kick their ass, which it always does, don't look like they had an ass kicking. YouTube don't block me. Look like they had an ass kicking. Look at them. But anyway. They're in the new supply high, and they go all the way to the bottom, right? They hit rock bottom hard. Harder than what we think. You know what's so funny? Let's tell me, fam. We think what we went through was the hardest part. It is, but it's nothing compared to being at the lowest point of all and then dealing with the regret of what you've done to a certain degree and then also realizing what you thought you won with, you lost with. See, with us... We knew we were losing all along in a way, right? So we go to the lowest point and realize what's going on. Now we can go back up and say, this is what losing looks like, right? Now I know how I could need to improve myself. It takes time, right, to win. See, the narcissists don't do that. They say, I've won right away. Everything is right away with them. You know, everything is a fast, they're microwavable motherfuckers. I said it. They're microwavable motherfuckers. They want instant gratification. And when instant gratification comes, instant failure. Come on with it now. When instant gratification a lot of time comes, instant failure. Because you didn't put in no work. You don't have an appreciation for something. That's just like if your family gives you everything you've ever wanted, you didn't have to work for it, you do not appreciate it. Instant gratification. So when reality hits you, when you find out your parents ain't doing nothing for your ass no more, right? Or you got to pay your own bills and pay your own way. You're so fucking far behind in the game. You don't even know what to do with yourself. And that's the same thing with the narcissist. It's that instant gratification, and they don't care what you're going through and how you feel at the moment, right? But when reality kicks their ass, they're at the very bottom of the barrel. They go below. They go below what we were at. Cause guess what? At least with us, we know what ground zero looks like thanks to the NARC, and now we can build ourselves up, right? The NARC don't see ground zero like that. Instant gratification. And the gratification I want to give you all is to let you know this. And I've always said this. No matter what you've done, and I said this in my other video, everything you've done was for you. Everything you have done is to bring you to a higher purpose. Your bottom level is never... You, your bottom level, your bottom pain, everything you feel is... I'm not, I'm not taking it from you because I know how it feels. But that's nothing compared to the bottom level of the narc. See... You build yourself up and you come up out of it. The narc, when they hit the bottom level, they don't do nothing but stay in the bottom level. They use people for moments, just for a moment. And they come high and they go down low. Come high and come down low, right? That's what narcissists always do. That's why we learn from them and we learn, okay, I was at the motherfucking bottom, but now I'm here and I'm going to keep going up and keep going up and I'm going to keep rising to the top and I'm going to keep on learning and I'm going to strive to be better and learn what's good for me and what I truly deserve. 
And it ain't going to take a moment. And that is why when you receive it, it'll mean so much more to you because it didn't happen just like that. <laughs> you feel me? Just like that. Nothing that comes easy is gratification. You don't really necessarily get gratification for it unless you win the lotto. You know, but if you hit the lotto, you better send your sister some money. But anyway, listen to me. The narcs instant gratification problem. That's why they don't care like you do. That's why they don't feel the pain you feel. Because they're not in the space long enough to understand. But trust me, when they hit the rock bottom of it, they feel your pain tenfold. They just don't let you know. Oh, baby. Ain't nothing worse than having it all and then losing it all in a matter of seconds. Just like they do. Matter of seconds they want gratification. The same seconds is how they lose. And nothing comes from that. So your pain, I understand you want to know why they don't feel what you're supposed to, you're, you know, what you're feeling, why you feel so bad, why you're so hurt. The narcissist seems like they're not because you're on a different level than they are. I've always said that. Your pain is designed for something greater. Their pain is designed to say, you know what? I'm going to always be in this space because I ain't learned shit yet. I'm a microwavable motherfucker. Well, they're microwavable. Let's put their ass on 45 minutes and burn them up. I said it. YouTube, don't block me. I love you. Just because you're hurting and you're going through what you're going through and you don't think the narcissist cares or he's not, or they're not getting the same pain or they don't see it like that. It's not about that. It's just a matter of how you process it. Listen to your sister. Your process is going to be phenomenal. There's detrimental as a motherfucker. And I love you. I wouldn't say you wrong. Bye, y'all. No good for nothing. Bottom of the barrel looking bitches.